Hey, what's up guys? In this uh, video, I'm going to do a little bit of food photography editing in uh, Lightroom Classic. So this photo in front of me, I took in uh, Planta. It's a uh, vegan sushi actually. And it's pretty busy. The photo is busy, has a lot of distractions. And I took this photo with my iPhone Pro, iPhone 12 Pro. And the main subject, as you can probably tell, is this vegan sushi or this uh, roll. So I want to make this area pop out and then try to remove or take away some of the spotlight from these bottles of alcohol here, as well as the menu, there's a chairs here, as well as the cashier area right here. So there's a lot of distraction, but I want to focus in on this vegan sushi roll I have here. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to go to the transform tool. Actually, no, a better tool would be the lens correction tool right here. And I'm going to enable profile corrections and I'm going to select Apple and then it automatically selected my iPhone 12 Pro. So if you look at the before and after, it already removed some of the distortion. I'm clicking or I'm pressing the backslash button to see the before and after. And you can already see the after image gives the image a little bit more pop or a little bit more forward movement. I can go and over exaggerate it here if I want. But the automatic lens profile correction is uh, fine. And now I want to go into, let's see, the detail area here and add a bit of a little sharpening and noise reduction. So I'm gonna zoom in here on this area. And this is the main area that I want to have sharpened and reduce some of the noise around here. I'm not too interested in about, I'm not interested in sharpening the bottles or anything along those lines. So there is a little bit of luminous noise, but it's not too bad, but let me try remove it, removing it manually. Okay, some of it is gone. And then I will add some sharpening. And let me check the mask. I'm gonna option hold and drag this, or alt drag this masking to see the actual black and white mask. And that looks pretty good with the sharpening or the mask. And this is pretty good right now from what I see. So let me look at the before and after. Yeah, so you can notice the noise or the luminance noise has been reduced as well as sharpening has been added. Let me look at the before and after. Yeah, so it's subtle changes that may not be always viewable when you're zoomed out, but it does make a, it can make a difference when people zoom in on your photo and want to check it out a little bit more or if you're printing the photo. So that's pretty good with the detail and the lens correction. Now, as I was saying, this area is very busy and it's taking away from the subject. So what I can do is go to lens blur here, click on apply. It'll take a few seconds to analyze. And as you can see, this area has been blurred out here. Let me click on this before and after. And the foreground has been blurred a little bit too. And let me change the blur amount. Let's see how it looks. I can actually go overboard. And now I can change the depth as well. Get more of this area blurred out and get more of the foreground blurred out. Let's look at the before and after. And one thing you don't want to do is start blurring the sushi. If I go overboard and move it here, you can see I could accidentally blur my sushi roll. So that looks good. I'll just drag to the foreground here, see how it looks. Okay, and that looks pretty good with the blur. Let's see the before and after. 
So the change in the foreground of the blur, it's subtle, but the background, it makes a huge difference. It definitely puts more emphasis on the sushi roll. Okay, so now we need to target the sushi roll individually or specifically, as well as the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the brush tool here or the masking brush and select the radial gradient. And I'm going to make a brush right here. Rotate this a little bit, make it bigger, fix the feather, I'll make it bigger, and fix the feather. And now I'm just going to play with the exposure and see how it looks, the mask, how it's affecting the sushi roll or the vegan sushi roll. Okay, so that looks good. And now, so what I'm going to do is increase the exposure a bit. Just a bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of saturation. I'm just going to go overboard and see if how it impacts the foreground and brings in this yellow tint here on the tablecloth. So I'll decrease it. I'll change the temperature cool it down a little bit to get rid of that yellow tint that's here and let's see what else I could do here let's see how highlights looks not big not much of a difference I do want to make this orange area a little bit more saturated and brighter so I'll, I'll click this point color tool click right here and now I'll increase the saturation and I'll increase the luminance. So let's zoom in here, see how it looks. Uh, let me see the before and after of this tool. Yeah, so you can see the sushi or the vegan roll looks a lot more better with the radial mask. Let me just get out of here. Okay, so I have this mask here. Now I want to darken some of this area here. So what I can do is I can create another mask or duplicate this mask, duplicate it right here. Just move it a little bit. And now what I'll do is invert it. And I'll also reset everything here. Got to make sure I reset this mask. Okay, so it looks everything I made sure to reset everything here. Okay, great. So now I can start targeting the background and the foreground a little bit more. I will decrease the exposure, decrease the highlights. And let me see what happens if I change the black point. It just makes it a little bit darker. That looks good. Now with this sushi roll, I want to go back to it and make the feather right here. It's a little bit too strong or the mask or the transition area. So We'll make the feather stronger, pull it out like this, make the feather a little bit better, and that looks a lot better. So that's it for the masking I'm going to do. And let me see here. Actually, I'm going to add a gradient mask as well to darken this area a little bit more. Click on that, click on linear gradient, drag it about here make this gradient a little bit more sharp and rotate it okay that looks good and let me decrease the highlights a little bit more here so wow now this image looks a lot more better let's look at the before and after so one thing we didn't do is actually crop 
Uh, that's up to how you want to display your image. You can crop it any way you like. Uh, another thing we can do is clean it up a little. I just clicked on this spot healing brush tool here. It's on content aware. I want to get rid of this. Okay, that looks good. I don't want to click on this area here. I want to get rid of this water residue. So I'm just making the brush smaller by pressing the left square bracket. And I'm just going to drag. Okay. So you can see there's a little bit of a lag when I'm dragging the brush. And that's pretty much because I don't have the previews at one to one or the uh, high quality preview. So that's why it takes a little bit longer. But anyways, that looks better. I'll close this out. Let's look at the before and after. Actually, I missed a spot here of uh, the water residue, but that's not a big deal. So that's pretty much it for editing this uh, food photography pic. It's a amateur food photography picture. Uh, because I just took it at the Planta Vegan restaurant in uh, Toronto. Let's take a look at the before and after. Wow, look at the improvement and the changes or the change to the photo. The vegan sushi roll pops out a lot more. We blurred out the background and foreground a bit and also, as well as reduced the highlights and decreased the shadows or the exposure. So that looks pretty good. Get out of this view. Let's look at some lights out. And that's pretty damn awesome. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Have a good one, guys.